Okay, here. Gently, wow. gently open the package. Yes, perfect. Away from you. Away from Ellie. You okay? As long as you take it easy, you'll be okay. It's hard. This packet is. Packaged. Well, just cut a little bit at a time. Right, exactly. That's how you carefully cut something. You don't try to stab through too much at once. It's close enough. You can get the you can get the stuff out of there. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Oh yeah! What? What is? Wait. I don't know. Whatever. Yay! And hold on one second. Here, Ellie, matter. hold the phone for a second. I told you, sister. Why does it say boy? Because it's a book called it's a book called Boy by Ronald Dahl. Boy. Tales of childhood. What? Here. This came the other day. They came backwards. Boy was supposed to arrive first. Oh, this is going so well. Okay. Let me show you just this. I'm just going to show you some real quick stuff Super. for how awesome this book, cool book is. Right? Ready? Remember how I told you I wasn't really into the Metrosmith BF-109 when I was a kid? I thought it was the ugly plane, the bad guys flew, and then later I found out how awesome it was. Look it. Crashed ME-109 in the North African desert. But check this out, though. It gets better and better. Just the, just the few pictures that he put in here. Look it. There's a cool story about a dog. I, I vaguely remember that. But check this out. There's some maps. Photos of him serving in World War II as a pilot. There's a photo of his specific... Hawker Hurricane in here. And look at this. The Green Mamba. I told you this story a long time ago. I told you the story of the Green Mamba from Roald Dahl's autobiography. This book is literally packed with amazing stories. Hmm. It's called Going Solo. But before you read this, read them in chronological order and read Boy. Boy is the story of him basically up to about 10 or 12 years old, something like that. And this is later on when he joined the war and he was a pilot in World War II. One of the stories in Going Solo involves him swooping down on a British plane that was a very unique British plane that they didn't make many of. And it had a very similar silhouette and shape to a German plane. And he almost shot down one of his like high up commanders and generals or whatever it was traveling in this plane. And then last second, as he was about to unload his machine guns into this plane because he thought it was the Germans... He realized it was actually British, and he just peeled off and ended up flying on whatever the mission originally was supposed to be. It takes place in North Africa. So you can both read both of these books. They're, in my opinion, these books are way cooler than uh, James and the Giant Peach or Chocolate Factory or even these other stories. Obviously, those stories are awesome. I'm not putting that's not I'm not putting him down. I'm not putting those stories down. What I'm saying is. This is real life. This actually happened. Look it. This is a Hawker Hurricane that Roald Dahl, the guy who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, James the Giant Peach, and all these stories you know, he flew a plane in World War II and helped us win World War II. He was a British pilot. The Hawker Hurricane, which is actually... The Spitfire is the cooler looking of the two planes, but the Hawker Hurricane did most of the... Had a better... If I remember correctly, I believe the majority of the kills during the Battle of Britain was actually with Hurricanes. Anyway, so I think you're gonna enjoy the book. I mean, you you were named after a million or hard, right? That's kind of one of the reasons yeah. we buy our heart, right? And uh, you and Ellie, I think, will both enjoy it. Yeah, but we can't. Uh, we can't both read the book separately.